All right, so let's talk about funny things that casuals say about the old UFC. Actually, let's just talk about that one thing. <laughs> There's actually not a grand theme to this video at all. I wanted to talk about one specific thing that I think is so funny, okay? I love, love, because someone just said this to me for the first time in a long time. I used to get this all the time, but recently, it doesn't happen as much, but I just got it again. And I'm making a video about it because it's that funny. When you ask someone, you're like, oh, so do you, know, do you follow UFC? And they go, you know, I was more into the old stuff. And you're like, the old stuff. They're like, yeah, you know, like the early UFCs. I was more into that stuff, like Hoist Gracie, you know, Ken Shamrock. And I'm like, oh, really? You were more into that, huh? Like, yeah, I just thought it was more exciting back then. I'm like, oh, okay. What are you talking about? Why not just say I haven't watched UFC in 100 years? Why not just say like, I watched one best knockouts UFC one video, and that's my memory of UFC, okay? So I've never seen one of the new fights at all. I don't know any of the fighters, nothing like, because Anyone who actually know, like we just know, okay, no one prefers the old fights, no one. Like what, what the fuck are you talking about? Any, uh, like if, if there was like a, a person who is an avid MMA viewer and they were like, yeah, you know, I, I just, I really like the old format, you know, no, no weight classes, you know, no, no time limits, no rounds, no rounds, you know, no time limits. That was, that was much better. And I liked when everybody was just like a discipline of like one martial art and that way, like a jujitsu fighter would get in there and then for 35 straight minutes, they would just roll around and it would be the most boring thing ever. And if you were able to not have your eyes bleed and liquefy in your head from boredom, then by the end, you would see them do some weird thing that you couldn't tell what they did. And then the other guy would tap and you'd be like, oh cool, the Brazilian jujitsu guy won. Awesome, I, I love the old stuff too, dude. I love the old stuff. The old stuff is the shit. Fuck new rounds, fuck rounds, fuck weight classes. Fuck guys being well-rounded. Let's see a bunch of random shit. Like, I just want to see a fucking guy roll on the ground where I have no idea what they're doing. I want them all wearing geese. I want a guy that's wearing one boxing glove. I want that. How about that? I want people to be able to get punched in the balls. What's wrong with headbutts? What the fuck's wrong with headbutts, right? The old, dude, the old format was the best. How about shoes? How about shoes? Why can't guys wear shoes, huh? How come guys can't wear shoes? And a boxing glove. One boxing glove. The old, dude, the old stuff was so much better. So much better, dude. I totally agree. I totally agree. Like, do you think that the guy would know that I was completely just mocking him if I responded that way? Because I was laying it on pretty thick. The old UFC was not good. That's why when Dana and the Fertitas bought the UFC, they immediately put in rounds and put in format and put in weight classes because hello, most common sense fucking thing ever. Now, obviously everybody knows the story. The UFC was going out of business probably because the Fertitas, you know, tilted the scale in that direction. They're like, oh, if we want UFC, why don't we just get their, you know, get them kicked out of uh, everything and then they'll be valueless and then we'll snap them up for 2 million bucks and then we'll turn it into a four and a half billion dollar acquisition. And then even after that, now it's worth double what they paid for it. My goodness. It's as if they had a master plan. So yeah, the old UFC is stupid, except for one thing. It's not stupid. Let me just make very clear. It's not stupid. It's just comparing it to now and saying you prefer it that way is retardville. Okay, that is utter nonsense. 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 I can show you, I can show you what some of those fights look like right now. I'll go downstairs and I'll have my, my two daughters wrestle each other. Oh man, how much is that gonna piss people off? That particular thing, okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a joke, okay? Jeez, I'm joking, okay? I'm not throwing salt at any particular martial art. It's just that I didn't have any idea what I was looking at back then with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now I do, it's more interesting. But when, you know, I talked about this in the video last night, Jiu Jitsu guys back, like even just very recently, guys who were incredible at Jiu Jitsu and had absolutely no idea how to, how to act like do any other, any other martial art were so infuriating to watch that it like, you know, like I think that we proved in the early UFCs that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the most dominant martial art if you're only gonna know one because all you have to do is just get close enough to a guy to be able to grab them. And then if they don't know Jiu Jitsu, they're fucked. But in terms of watching it as a spectator, if you don't know what the fuck you're looking at, not exactly the most exciting style of fighting versus someone getting a shin to their face and the teeth flying out, right? So uh, let me tell you what was awesome about the old UFCs. People making martial arts up, okay? Here is Tank Abbott, a pit fighter. You're like, pit fighter? Hmm, I guess that's a thing. You know, or shoot boxer, I believe, shoot boxer. Now, I, and this is different than shoot box bike camp out of Brazil, but I believe I remember 
shoot boxing as in like s h o o t boxing being a mixed martial or what is wrong with me today what is wrong with me why can't i talk you would think that i would edit that out but i'm not going to because i don't care about fumbling over my words i just say what i say and I post it on the internet and if i have edits in this video and then you see me say this you can just be like hypocrite fucking liar you're a liar anyway so pit fighter shoot boxer they had random shit, man. Why don't we bring that back? How about guys just get to name their own martial art now? Like everybody's awesome at everything, right? So it's like, instead of, you know, a mixed martial artist, just be like, uh, whatever. I mean, think, man, before I did this video, I should have thought of something awesome there. That's just poor planning. But on the spot, uh, master of karate, that was going nowhere. I was gonna say karate wizardry. That's not a word. It also was a shit joke. Fuck, man, I'm terrible, right? I thought I was sharp at the beginning of this video. When I did the whole thing about like the old UFC, I was on right there. Like that was me being on. Now, all I have to do is think of one fake martial art and I can't think of anything funny. A heel kicker, the worst joke ever. What the fuck's wrong with me? Uh, now I actually can't think of any words. Like not just martial arts, like no words, so. This fucking video is going nowhere. I think you guys get the point that the old UFC had one thing that was better than current UFC and I failed to capitalize on it with even a single coherent joke. So that's what we got. If you guys like the content, I think that you should definitely subscribe and ring the bell because I promise next time I will have better jokes, like way better jokes. Right now, I'm still brain fried from watching a guy shoot himself in the leg at the tactical course that I took yesterday. which jeez it's just so disturbing seeing that not really not when you're a boss like me blood and guts don't bother me son also the guy got grazed and didn't actually get shot all the way through his leg but you know they had to cut his pants off scar all the way down his leg forever now keep your finger off the trigger when you're holstering your weapon good policy to keep what else that's it ring the bell subscribe and by the way you guys are about to see me featured on Mix Molly Whoppery's next video. Mm, you may have already seen it. Imagine that. And now you're looking at this. You must have seen something really awesome on his channel. You're like, let's go check this guy out. And then you watch me talk fucking nonsense on this video. You're like, this video could have been three minutes. And somehow you stretched it out to eight. Why? Why'd you do it? I don't know why I did it. I just talk and then I look at the video afterwards and I'm like, fuck, that's really good. I think that I am garbage every, well, let me retract that. I used to think that I was garbage every time that I was on camera. Then I would watch it back, I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> this guy's really funny and good looking and clever. Who the fuck is this guy? And I'm like, it's me. So now I just talk, I just talk shit. I just, and then I call myself goat on the mic, best MMA analyst, and then, you know, it ends up being true. Manifest destiny. I think I saw that work for Conor McGregor. So, two million subscribers in a couple years. I'm never buying subscribers, by the way. Never. That's why. My channel, when you look at the talent that you see in front of you on the camera, and then you look and you're like, 2,500 subscribers, what the fuck? This guy is talking about being the goat on the mic? That's because I'm not cheating my way to the first 100,000 like every other channel that cheated to 100,000. Fuck that, I don't need that shit. But I might do it, but probably not. But I might, but probably not. So anyway, love you guys. Subscribe, ring the bell. Peace.